What is this place? Dooku asked after Palpatine had welcomed him into the Limerge building. An old factory. It was owned by Higo Damask, but he deeded it to me before he died. Dooku's brow wrinkled. For what purpose? He thought I might have some use for it in jump-starting a plan of urban revitalization. Back on Coruscant for a little over a month, Palpatine was wearing a cowled cloak closed at the neck by a Sith clasp, ostensibly as protection against acid-laden rain that was falling in the works. Dooku was dressed as a civilian in tight-fitting trousers and a smart cape. The former Jedi regarded the factory's enormous main room. No Senate guards? They're within calm range should I need them. I would have thought you at least wanted me to see your new office, Dooku said, brushing beads of water from his shoulder. Then I recalled what you said last time we spoke about our not being seen together in public. Palpatine waved negligently. The office is temporary. One more suited to the position is already in the planning stages. Side by side, they began to walk through the room. So you've hooked them already, Dooku said. Palpatine feigned a look of innocence. Not at all. The Appropriations Committee approached me with the idea of constructing a dome near the Senate building that will also serve as a docking facility. You appear to be very pleased with the idea. Most pleased. Dooku stopped to study him. Your truer nature begins to reveal itself, I think. When Palpatine made no response, he added, Congratulations, by the way, on Naboo's defeat of the Trade Federation. An odd series of events, wouldn't you agree? Palpatine nodded and resumed a measured pace. Everyone involved, including me, underestimated the abilities of our Queen. It pained me to learn that Master Qui-Gon had been killed. He paused momentarily. Was it his death that firmed your decision to leave the Order? To a degree, Dooku said, scowling. I've learned recently that another of my Padawans, Komare Vosa, is alive. I hope that's some consolation, Palpatine started to say. It isn't, as she is said to be leading the Bando Gora. Dooku looked at him. She could be a danger to the Republic, Supreme Chancellor. Then thank you for the warning. How did the Council react to your departure? Not well. They demanded more explanation than I was willing to provide. And Master sifo -Dyas? Dooku frowned. He knew that my leaving was simply a matter of time, although he did say something I found to be rather curious. He said that if I had any designs on instigating dissent, he would be one step ahead of me. Palpatine shook his head in confusion. Are you planning to instigate dissent? Dooku smiled faintly. My first order of business is to reclaim my title. Count Dooku, Palpatine said, assessing the sound of it. Somehow it suits you better than Master Dooku. I'm tempted to adopt a new name altogether. A new beginning. Perhaps I should do as you've done. As I've done, Palpatine said. Call myself Dooku as you retitled yourself Palpatine. I see. Well, what meaning is conveyed by a name in any case? Again, he paused for a long moment. I understand that Qui-Gon fell to a lightsaber. Dooku's head snapped around. The same Sith he confronted on Tatooine. The Council is hoping that Gunray can shed some light on the matter once the trial is underway. I wouldn't put much faith in that. Does the Council know anything at all? Not even his Sith name, Dooku said. But they know that there is another. How could they? In theory, 
When the Sith went into hiding 1,000 years ago, they vowed that there should be only two of them at any given time. One master, one apprentice through the generations. Was this one who killed Qui-Gon the apprentice or the master? Dooku looked at him as they walked. My every instinct tells me that he was the apprentice. Obi-Wan suspect as much as well, based on the Zabrak's behavior. The Council is being more circumspect, but naturally, they want the other one found. He fell silent, then added, The Sith deliberately revealed himself on Tatooine and on Naboo. More than disclosing their alliance with the Trade Federation, he did so to send a message to the Jedi. It amounts to a declaration of war. Palpatine came to a stop at a broken window that overlooked the rain-drenched works. How would one even begin to know where to look for this other Sith? I'm not sure, Dooku said, coming abreast of him. Several crises of the past decade bear the signature of a more sinister intelligence than those who planned and perpetrated the events. Yinchor, for example, but especially Eriadu and the assassination of the Trade Federation leadership. Clearly, certain beings have dealt with the Sith, perhaps without realizing it, and some may be dealing with the surviving one currently. Now that I'm no longer a Jedi, there may be a way for me to extract information from the crime cartels and other organizations. Eventually, I will find him, or her, and with any fortune, before the Jedi do. To avenge the death of Master Qui-Gon, Palpatine said, nodding, and aware that Dooku was staring at him intently. The thought preoccupied me for some time, but no longer. Palpatine turned his head slightly. Then why seek this one? Because I suspect that Naboo was only the beginning. A kind of opening salvo. The Sith want to see the Republic brought down. Much as you and I do. Palpatine didn't respond for a long moment. But to ally with a Sith? For many, they are the embodiment of pure evil. But the Council knows differently. What separates a Sith from a Jedi? is the way each approaches the Force. The Jedi Order has placed limits on itself, but the Sith have never shied from incorporating the power of the Dark Side to accomplish their goals. You wish to learn the secrets of the Dark Side? I confess that I do. Palpatine restrained an impulse to reveal his true identity. Dooku was strong in the Force, and might simply be attempting to draw him out. On the other hand, something tells me that this hidden Sith may eventually find his way to you, he said at last. And if and when he or she does, I hope that the alliance you forge will help us restore order to the galaxy. <laughs>